Howdy, folks. Mike Nelson here, and, uh... Welcome to the Satellite of Love. <laughs> Richard Attenborough. Uh, before we get started, I should tell you that I just put my hands in something very cold and wet. Yeah. Mike, you interrupted our wet t-shirt contest. Yeah. Your wet t-shirt wet... contest. You know, the favorite form of entertainment in Florida, Southern California, and parts of Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and these would be your wet t-shirts. Righto. Oh, I right. won with my waffle net crew neck, which absorbed a full 1.35 liters of water. And while right. Crow won the day, my Hanes beefy tea absorbed faster with less dripping. Mm -hmm. But we're not quite sure still what the whole big deal is over wet t-shirt contests. I have to have a little talk with my robots and we'll be right back after this. Um, uh, Mike? Yeah. What's happening? Yeah. I don't know. Usually we go right, only to be right back. Well, we're not. Could you do something, please? Okay, hang on. Again, we'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, oh, hell, I'm leaving. Uh, Mike, uh, jiggle something or something. Okay, uh, you know, maybe, excuse me, maybe it's this piece of... Yeah. Ah, there. Yeah. Okay, yeah. there we go. We'll be right back, I, I hope. Really? Hi, and welcome back to the Satellite of... Whoa, hey, what's going on? Why, it's Martin Van Buren, our nation's eighth president. Yeah. Uh, Cambar, could we do something about that? Uh, ah, there we, we go. go. Okay, thanks. Anyway, we got a lot to do today, so if we could... Uh... Hey, now there was another guy, and he was trying to say something. Did you see what? that? Oh, it was probably Martin Van Buren again. And he was trying to say, Hi, I'm Martin Van Buren, 8th President of the United States. I was born in Kinderhook, New York. Now, would you stop with the Kinderhook, New York? Mike, the ship is 10 years old. You've got to expect these kind of malfunctions. Yeah, I just got this cup of coffee from the food synthesizer, and it gave me corn niblets instead. Ew, corn with half and half and sweet and low? Yuck. Mm. Well, I take my corn black, so it's not a problem. Oh, I see. <laughs> Attention, attention! The ship is undergoing multiple malfunctions and they're increasing geometrically. Man. Just thought I'd let you stupid idiots know. <laughs> yeah, what? stupid idiots. Chips, did we do something to offend you? Oh, cram it, you meat puppet. I don't have time for your constant whiny crap. Wow. Oh. Well, you know, she does have a point, Mike. That's true. Oh, no, can't, can't you see Gypsy's malfunctioning like everything else? Oh. Right, let me get a hold of Pearl. Hey, Pearl, Pearl, hello, Pearl. Our vessel is malfunctioning. Uh, vessel. Oh, hold on a second, Mike. Just let me check to see if I care. Uh, oh, um, no. Seems like I don't. Um, no, brain guy, do you care? Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Um, let me check. Just see if I care. Uh, no, no, seems like I don't care. <laughs> Bobo? How come I always gotta be the thimble? 
Bobo says no. Oh, and now the shower's not working. Whoa, Mike, it's only been three minutes. Oh, well, he does tend to perspire heavily. Oh, that? Pearl, can you help at all, huh? You. Do you want to help him out, brain guy? Hmm. Hmm, wow. Uh, well, of course I'd like to know. Me neither. Oh, come on, you guys. You gotta help them out. Otherwise, they'll die and we won't have anybody to play with. Bobo, you're right. Oh. Mike, I find that in times of crisis, watching a skin-peelingly bad movie can truly help. To that end, I offer you the balm that is Soul Taker, a movie which an ambitious young lady wrote for herself to star in. I now turn over your healing process to her. Brain guy, you want to send him the movie there? Hmm. Hmm. Wow. Well, I, I, I'll... Games over powder. I, I, I love to do it. I just a little hard with your eyeball being twisted. Ah, ah. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hey, wow. what the? Oh, now the stupid doors. Try manually, Mike. Uh, well, I guess we just can't watch the movie. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. God, a mess. Hey, my seat won't go down. <clears throat> Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Ah. Well, good luck having the baby, honey. I got tickets to the game. Because you're mine, I walk the intensive care unit. Dr. Blair, Dr. Blair, Dr. Jane Hamilton, Dr. Jane Hamilton. Hmm. I don't like the new candy striper uniforms. Fish filet gloves. I guess I don't need those. I'm Ed Bradley. I'm Steve Croft. I'm Leslie Stahl. Time for your meds. <laughs> it's the right thing to do. Oh, you can't even tell he's had a baby. I got stigmata, I bet you don't. I could borrow your liver for just a minute. Oh, it's Rocky Mountaining. The death of Helmut Cole. The magic fingers have gone berserk. <laughs> Yana Glachi. Yana Glachi. He uses Ghostbusters technology. This is your brain on death. Any questions? Can I have some more applesauce? You know, it's just not death with dignity if there's an Estevez in the room. Mm -hmm. No. Hang on, a couple of strands of soul got stuck to the tape on my mouth. I think he's hourly or does he get paid on a per soul basis? Hmm. Hmm. See, if he put the club on his soul, this would not have happened. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna head down to TJ Mellonberry's for Coors Light. George Clooney's taking his shirt off. Oh, he's dead. Time for a cigarette break. Soup taper? What? I'd let it get a little closer. Yeah. The soup taker! Uh, does anything really star Joe Estevez? Isn't that kind of an oxymoron? Some kind of moron. <laughs> hey, it's Jim McMahon. I bet you can never get the smell of Hardee's out of that car. <laughs> well, shouldn't you also be talking on the cell phone and eating yogurt? <laughs> Gets any closer, he's gonna get stuck in her hair. 
Shoot. I'm charmed by the fact that he almost sideswiped me. <laughs> Everybody, oh, come here, boy. Yeah, crank that Sansui. Oh, that's a screenwriter and star. Earl told me. <laughs> I want to look my best if I'm going to see the motels tonight. Hmm. Do I want to look like David Bowie or Mary Gross? No, this would be more appropriate for a Thompson Twins concert. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, that's not a dress, that's a cake. Hmm, <laughs> I sure look forward to that Michael J. Fox movie tonight. She does all right on their data entry salary. Check it out. That must be Lucy. Hi, Mr. McMillan. Is Natalie ready? I don't think Natalie is ever ready. Hmm? That's not Natalie. That's Tanya Harding. A story by So There Will Be a Story. That's encouraging. Yeah. Hmm. I love you, Scott Bayo. This was before I grew a torso, when he used to carry me around. <sighs> this must be the all-white snake station. Why do you suppose there's flecks of blood on the wall? He's gonna start a radio hitting business. <laughs> People showing up places. Your movie, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, tough morning choosing between acid wash or blasted denim. Music to spin donuts by. Come on, man. I still got to pick up Tommy. Uh, let me wake up the rest of Menudo. Hang on. Hi, Mr. Taylor. Since I'm Bob Vila, I won't return your greeting. Oh, man. Please don't ever stop being the 80s when my life is over. You're dead, Nancy Kerrigan. I like it when I see me. Natalie? Karen's here. Uh, just a second, Dad. I'll be right down. Here, I'll put this in my loser ex-boyfriend picture drawer. See you, Pops. Yeah, sure, whoever you are. Later. We are planning to rock. <laughs> hey, when are you ever going to get that thing fixed, anyway? I still got to take the pistons out. But hey, I'm finished grinding the valves. He's preparing for the mother of all comb overs. I never want to make enough money to pay someone to do that. You know how. Hey, Brad. Well, can't we just rock? And that's over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm just kidding, man. Chill out, will you? I don't do that stuff anymore. Really. He used band roll-on on his lips. <laughs> hey, let's get out of here. But by the way, do you wear your sunglasses at night so you can, so you can keep track of the visions in your dreams? Ooh. We got kids today putting their cars in reverse, backing carefully out of driveways. Short for summer festering. Yep. Well, the balloons have certainly convinced me it's fun. I thought we had enough gas. I'm sorry. Hey, 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 that took my soul right there. Pick up Jimmy Page. Oh, now I punch in my bread. <laughs> <laughs> you better believe it, man. I'm psyched. I'm going to score me a funnel cake. Everybody fast. Hey, what are you looking for? Nothing. Looking for Natalie. Natalie? Hey, so what if I am? Natalie? Yeah, hey, uh, this sounds like a real interesting conversation, you guys, but I'll check you guys out later. And since no one knows who I am, it won't really matter. What? I can't believe you, man. How many times do I have to tell you that Natalie McMillan is a rich... Hmm? The only way you're going to get a girl like that is with money, and you ain't got it. So forget it. Yeah? You don't even know the girl. Yeah, lucky for me. You want to go or not? 
No, I, I think I'll just hang out here for a while. <laughs> Fine. Yeah, come back and get me when the teddy bear band takes the stage. Yum, half a mushroom Swiss burger. Just wait for me under the floor mat, man. Wow, until this moment, his long hair and back completely distracted me from the fact that he's balding in front. Yeah. The lead singer for Mr. Mister is concerned. He's the driver. He rocks. Who else? Hold my finger. God, he's a catcher's mitt with eyes. I want the soul of that stuffed bunny on the window. It's Boy George. What time? Eight o'clock. Who can't? Gonna be a lunch taker then. Is that all? No. There's one more. Just hit her in the leg with a pipe. Hmm, pricey, but you get to keep the glass. <laughs> hey, I see him. Where? Right over there. Don't point. Sorry, sorry. What should I do? Should I go over and say hi to her? I would. Natalie! Natalie McMillan, I thought you moved away. Where have you been? College. Well, where? New York. New York? Why so far away? It makes stalking you hard. I made kind of a deal with my dad. Well, it's great to see you. Come on, let's dance. I'm Gino Vanelli. He's John Stamosing. Mm -hmm. That would that be too far. Ahoy, darling. Oh, hi. I think you make it. <laughs> I be happy today. It's an Amish band. Don't let me be lonely, lonely. I am indeterminately a man. I wanna be happy today. Found a gay man. One minute, Just off for the Anything Goes rehearsal. Next we're in pain. Wanna hear me do Super Bowl Shuffle? Enjoy the balloon. <laughs> All I know is we're together. Hi, I had your baby, remember? I just got to hang around and be John Stamos, sorry. Yeah. You're a girl and stuff. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was assaulted. It's fun. What's your name? I'm Debbie. Natalie. Chicks and ducks and geese better scurry. She reminds me of someone I knew a long time ago. Oh. Reba McIntyre. Just someone I used to know. Man, that guy's got a small face. Now, just the Mennonites. Thank you. Our hand-hewn wood CDs are available at the gate. Hmm? Uh, oh, no. Balloons. I hate balloons. Trees. Convertible cars. Oh, no. I'm overwhelmed. Well, hey, can I call you sometime? We can go to the George Will concert. Karen! Sorry. Love is lifting me up where I belong. Karen! The mace on my skate broke. That airs out my armpits. Hey, Zach, man, I'm really proud of you. You made it through the whole afternoon without asking Natalie to dance. Yeah, I wanted to. Every time I got the nerve up, she'd disappear. Too bad it's not for good. <laughs> you know, I could be saying it is balloons so many times right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's noon. Summerfest is over. Oh, no, it's Kathy Griffin. Hey, where's Zach? Take a guess. A polishing her scrimshaw collection? Oh, that idiot. <laughs> Natalie. Jeff Galilee did it. Zach. <laughs> How you been? 
Great. Great. When did you get back in town? Uh, last night. So, mm -hmm. what have you been doing? Well, how would I know? I've been taking night classes at the college. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, what are you taking? What's well, a business course? I want to own my own business. We're starting old cars? <laughs> you remembered. Well, we did go out for five years and just broke up two weeks ago. What are you doing? Who are you waiting for? Karen. Well, where is she? Uh, she went somewhere with John. I don't know. She's with her John? She just left you here? No, I'm sure she's going to be back eventually. You know, there's a summer fest next year. She'll probably show up for that. Come on, now, let's go. Hurry, Skinner's on. A minute. Come on, I hate to leave you here like this. Well, she's got to come back for a car. Wait, tomorrow maybe, not tonight. <laughs> come on, come with us. Are you sure it's okay? Of course I'm sure, Just come on. Out. Just move those one-hitters out of the way there. Hi. Oh, I think I just sat in someone's cheeserito. What's this? <laughs> Natalie needs a ride. But she's upper middle class and we're slightly lower middle. Well, let's go to Centerville Summerfest. Hey, I do, I really do walk the line. Hi folks, you may be wondering if I'm Martin Sheen. Well, I'm not. Turns out I'm his vastly more talented, yet less appreciated brother. Thank you. Hmm. Did the big chin say 8 or 8.30? I'm at Bradley. <laughs> they are, in fact, traveling down the road, and they are flirting with disaster. Mm -hmm. My lunch is about to do a round trip, dude. Whoa. Oh, it's the virtual drunk idiot game. Come on, Brad, what's the hurry? What's the hurry? I'm in no hurry, man. I'm simply rocking. I'm never in a hurry. Oh, I like you're getting car sick. Well, that's because you're reading. Put that down. Sorry. It's flashing back to other people's memories. <laughs> slow down. I mean, you better slow down. Sorry, I can't drive 55. Slow down now! <laughs> Fake. <laughs> <laughs> Leak taker. Where's David Byrne's head? <laughs> He's Billy Idling. Hi, I'm a tree. Just want to put in a good word or two for nature since the camera's on me. Thanks for your time. Man, I love that chord. Save the balloon! I hope we were thrown violently out of the movie. Damn. She survived by her dance skins. Golden voice module. We got thrown from the car in an equidistant fashion. I hope they didn't hurt their tight pants points hardly renowned. Well, we lost the meaningless red-headed woman. Dummy, didn't you see that warning Joe Estevez crossing sign? At least my spiral perm wasn't damaged. Ooh, triple salt cow really takes it out of you. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What the hell happened? I think we hit a tree or something. Something, I don't know, maybe a cucumber. Mm -hmm. There's some son of a standing right in the middle of the road. We crash? It's her fault for being rich. And if y'all hadn't been yelling so much, I probably could have made it. You know, we must have gotten thrown clean from the car. Where is the car? Where well, you learn how to drive, Brad? Huh? Hey, why don't you just shut up? Yeah? You know, this is really <laughs> weird. None of us even got hurt. Wait a minute, where's my balloon? What? Yeah. Candace. Hey, 
Something is definitely wrong. The whirlpool is ice cold. Life support is failing, and there's a mysterious ship keeping pace with us and holding us in its tractor beam. Oh my gosh, an alien presence is attacking us. Oh, what do we do, Mike? What do we do? Uh, turn it over to Gypsy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lunch on this. Whoa, great. Gypsy's hopeless. You better take command, Mike. Ah, me? Yeah, we're losing time, Mike. Lead us. Inspire us. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm in command. All yeah, right, good. Uh, put alien ship on view screen. Good, good. That'll, that'll help. There. Uh, yeah, I think we need a little something more, Mike. Life support is still failing and all. Right, uh -huh. Okay, uh, increase magnification. Uh, Mike, we actually don't all right, have... Just a little bit. Magnification. In, 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 whatever. Good. All right, uh, shields up. Shield? Shield? What the hell's uh, the teeth smoking? Arm photon torpedoes. Uh, Mike, uh, we only had that one photon torpedo, but uh, Crow set it off in your locker, if you remember. <laughs> that oh, was decent. Okay. Uh, well, then uh, close hex field. Whoa. Whoops. Uh, there. I've broken the hex field. Carry on. I'll be in my ready oh. room. Great, Mike. That's just great. Uh, we'll be right back. Uh, you gonna need any corn in there? I'm Marshal Brodeen, a professional magician. I'm gonna take her soul and her Garfield keychain. Her soul has a refreshing mint flavor. Ew, it smells like Marlboro Lights and Jovan Musk. Ah, hot, oh, hot soul, hot, oh, hot, oh. Hey, buddy, could you just hand me your soul? Does this bug you? I'm not touching you. This man's recently been rocking. Hey, my hand is covered with bronzer. Okay, just shove the irony down our throats. Man, I'm not gonna reach my quota. This is what happens when death is run by low-level bureaucrats. <gasps> Michael Learned! Can you work for me on Thursday? Thriller! Where are the other four? Uh, they're on layaway. What happened? Displacement. <laughs> You must track them, and you must abide by the rules of time and space. Yeah, what are those again? Quickly. Don't look at me like that. Kathy Rigby, paramedic. Just as I suspected. Hungry Jack complete. Just add water. Hey, it's Hamilton Jordan. Uncut lick made I should have known. Since I'm Griffin Dunn. Amazing that they weren't all killed. You find the ID? We're getting them. Oh, yeah. Tell me something. You see anything about this picture that doesn't fit? What do you mean? I mean that. The door? It was open when we got here. Yeah. So what do you figure the chances are of a door opening by itself on impact and a head-on collision? Quite good, really. But don't take this the wrong way, Sarge, but... Uh, Get bent. I think you're reading too much into it. It's always the same argument with us, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, hey, you're probably right. Let's get out of here. Let's go get some stroganoff. You like firemen? I sure don't. Man, my monthly soul count is really tanking. I'm never gonna win that set of steak knives. Oh, sorry, is the camera still on? Jeez. Okay, okay I'll get back. Well, they might have left their souls in the glove compartment. Hmm. Frank Booth Camp. Hey, you forgot us! Shut up! You forgot four of the passengers, don't. Hmm? Oh, Shut up. Please. Problem. People love to hear me talk. Jeez. Oh, 
Please let my Billy Squire tape still be here. Oh, man. Look at it, man. It's mangled. God, we are lucky to be alive. Whoa, a lot of curly fries under there. <laughs> oh, Candace must have really been messed up, man. Do you have any great coupon? My majorette boots. Hey, what are you doing in my car, man? Hey, wait a minute. You were the dude who was in the middle of the road. You made me wreck my car. That tightens my pants. Hey, what are you still hanging around here for? Hmm? You guys, I think we better go. My nephew made mighty ducks. Uh, hey, get off me! Uh, he's just panicking to get souls because he drew against his commission. America's most beloved drug retailer was killed today. Oh. Man, he's dead, man. Get he's dead! Hooray, let's tell the town. Hmm. Now, how can I possibly get the others? Perhaps by pursuing them, I might catch them in some manner. Hmm. No messy soul residue. Hmm. But I'm not going to check. Hey, Marlboro brand gas. 3-2 beer run. Oh, come on, sweetheart. You know I'd never cheat on you. Why, I'd never even look at another woman. Well, this is a man I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they have turkey jerky here. Well, sure, I love you. Edward Hopper's Quickie Mart. Jolene, what she got to do with this? Hey, call the police. I don't see him. He's out there somewhere. We saw him murder somebody. He's not just going to let us go. Hey, we need to use your phone. This guy just killed our friend out there. He's after us. Hello? You expect me to believe that? I'm telling you the truth. Hey. Don't get out of here with this crap. I I'm not hanging up till I get this little matter settled. What's the matter? This guy, he, he won't get off the phone. He's just ignoring me. <laughs> you know I'm getting sick and tired of your accusations. Why, it's Harvey. Hi, Harvey. Who is that guy? Have you ever seen him before? No. Hello. I, I want to make a report about a, a murder that happened. Hello? Yeah. I, I want to make a report about a murder that happened tonight. Look harder. <laughs> she hung up on me. What is everybody dapping around here? Why? Looks like he's wearing a seaweed hat. No, we're not going here. I'll stay right here where it's safe. Hey, I think I saw something. Where? In East Dubuque. What do you think? Right here. Over there. It's a tall thing made of wood with green stuff on top. Hey, it's probably just a wind dog. Yeah, sorry I kept a lookout for the psycho killer. I don't think so. Hey, what's that? It's a moose. What do you think it is? It's a tow truck. It's the car! I love Rick Ocasek. Sorry, don't have a tow bar. Happy St. Blaze Day. Oh, you wearing that? He went to the old time picture booth at Six Flags. Tanya Harding is Scarlett O'Hare. A machine or an Estevez? Mother. Wait! No! Give me your stupid soul! <laughs> Remember, you need only walk briskly to get away from him. Me. I need condoms. What now? Oh my god, we forgot Tommy! We've got to go back and get him! Look, he's at the store. He's going to be safe there. Just get to your house and call the cops, okay? Come on. They'll kill you too. Why don't you listen to me? I'm watching cops. 
If I die, I'm gonna die eating string cheese and fruitopia. Hey, I just fed the cockroaches. Here, uh, give me some whoppers while you're in there. Why did you take the girl when you had the chance? She you know all the rules. Hmm? You still have time. Not much. Where does that guy even keep his acorns? You must restore the balance or pay the penalty. Oops. Police, open up. My response to spills is to go home. Keep out, or I'll foiled again. Can I put up a lost cat poster? What do you want? Do you have a phone so I can call Martin to take over my role? Is it money you want, man? Is that what you want? Or do you want the new living room set from Broy Hill? I got, I got plenty of it, man. Go ahead, take it. Go ahead. Go ahead, man. Where are the Stuart sandwiches? It's closing time. Does that mean that every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end? Mm. I think so. Yeah. Okay. I was playing horsey. Mm, got a leaky cash register. I'll race you to film obscurity. <sighs> yep. Slow and steady wins the soul. What a nice antebellum home. I'm antebellum -y brothers, does that count? <laughs> Stand, dear. I'll get the pampering. I don't know where, but he's out there somewhere. Natalie, come on upstairs and let me draw you a hot bath with Epsom salts. Or draw you a tree. Now? Mom, I'm not five years old. I know, sweetheart, but you need to relax and calm your nerves. Come on, I'll give you some heroin. Okay. Just let me sit here a little bit longer. I'll follow you up. Okay, I'll go turn on the water. I'll do a strip tease for it. Uh, I have just got to write Mom out of the story. No, she's gonna add Mr. Bubble and give herself a urinary infection. <gasps> Being low class, we only had corn cobs for windows. See anything? No. Well, I mean, I saw some of the outside and stuff. I'm really sorry about what happened to Brad. Yeah, so am I. And I was gonna go to Chess King tonight, so this just bites. Well, uh, my dad can take you home when he gets here. I don't think that's such a good idea. I I'll just go with the police. I'll beat myself up and have myself held without charges. Well, if I don't see you again, Zach... It'll be too soon. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Mm. All right. Zach, goodbyes are more effective when someone leaves. Wait, Natalie? I really didn't know anything about the coke in the car tonight, about Brad, about anything. Zach, it's okay. It's okay. You're lower class and stupid. I understand. Natalie. Uh, just a second, Mom. He's making violent love to me, Mother. <sighs> Sounds like I'm wanted. You are. <laughs> Rick Springfield after Monty Clip's accident. Natalie. You want Batman crazy foam? I'm coming, Mom. Uh, look, can I just help you take your clothes off? Or... Mike, dumb Zach.
There, we've fixed every problem, found every flaw. What could possibly go wrong, huh? <laughs> nope. How about everything? <laughs> <laughs> Now a soul taker has appeared in the castle and it's attacking Bobo! Unhand him, you race! Get away, power! I'll save you, Bobo! I don't know who you are, but get your soul pinching paws off my monkey! Hey, Pearl, how's it going? Frank! Jamie's Frank! Uh, Is it really you? Come here, Pearl! <laughs> Frank, I thought you were dead. I am dead. I was in Second Banana Heaven for a while, but it is so political up there. Pat Buttram had it in for me right for the start. So then I was an angel for a while, and then I got into big trouble for appearing to people as Della Reese. Scared the <laughs> hell out of them. So they transferred me to Soul Taken. Oh. <coughs> oh, uh, Frank, brain guy, brain guy, Frank. Well met, deceased one. Uh, hey, great. Where'd you get the hostess snowball? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> so how are Mike and the bots doing up there? Oh, well, let's take a look. Ah, we're plummeting in the earth atmosphere. It's gonna be sick. Whoa! I can't believe it. This gordita is delicious. Oh, try a border fry. Oh, oh knock your finger. It was horrible. An unpleasant man tried to steal my soul and, oh, hello. And he had this hair that had, uh, uh, <gasps> oh, it's him. <laughs> oh, Frank, we have so much catching up to do. Let's have some General Foods International coffee. Oh, perfect. And you up there, get back into the theater! Hey. Huh? Hey, what'd I do? You didn't do, Jack! We were saved by a tractor beam from that mysterious ship! Cambot, give me rocket number nine! Why then we're saved. Thanks, Chips. <laughs> yeah, jump up my tube, white boy. Whew. Oh, 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 we got movie oh, no, we got no. movie fight. What else? I wonder if the Natalie's Bath channel is on. What were you doing? I was just putting something away in the attic. Your father. Oh, for a minute there, I thought... Hmm? Oh, never mind. I'm going to lay down for a little bit. Can you turn off the water when the tub's full? Of course. Thank you so much for turning off the water. I'm so glad you were home. Now they're just gratuitously postponing the nudity. She looks like a drag queen without his wig. Mm. Alfie, what's the matter? I pooped in my water supply. Okay. <clears throat> Interior, bedroom, me. Draped across the bed, tousled but tawny. I lay there, hand on my taut tummy, still pretty in a worried kind of way. Zoom in closer to my prettiness. Closer. We're gonna come back to me, then me, then me, and more me. We've got a screenwriter. She needs a coffee drip. Stat. I'm going to bed. You know, I usually like snuff films, but this one ain't cutting it. Huh, I hear clothes coming off.
<laughs> Coast is clear. I'm ordering a steel cage match on pay-per-view. I don't know, but I think we better get out of here. Hey, whose house has all the rooms? Is that my tummy or is that a raging hell beast? Hey, they have three pronged outlets, those bourgeoisie jerks. <laughs> Wipe out. It's the pantry of death. <sighs> Don't miss the terrifying water turning offing. Is there a turkey farm in the hall? <laughs> Charlie. Now beat it, biped. Don't you remember me? What's wrong, boy? Well, I'm really just feeling this emotional malaise these days. I don't know. Good-sized yard, plenty of room to rock. That's okay. Testicles are overrated. There's nobody out there. Oh, that's right, dogs can't see idiots. Oh, rough, rough. Okay. Man, you know this whole bath thing is getting to be more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready for our Japanese tea ceremony. Wow. Mom looks like Senor Wences's hand. Mm. I checked on the tub. It's got several more hours to go. Hmm. Do you plan on looking like this much longer? Now she takes off the wig and it's Kevin Bacon. <gasps> A huge mannish turtle. Oh no, it's you, Mom. Must <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> have fallen asleep. Your bath is ready. Oh, thanks. I filled it with golden popcorn topping. Natalie. I'm Ann Landers. I overheard your conversation downstairs. You're not considering dating Zach again, are you? <laughs> well, I still have feelings for him. How could you have feelings for someone who put your life in danger? Mom, I thought you liked Zach. I don't know what you see in him. Sweaty proletarian what pecs. What could he possibly give you? <sighs> You sound just like Dad. Natalie, listen to me. Mom, you're hurting me. Well, not you and your ass, Mom, so help me. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I, I was just concerned about you. I didn't mean to upset you. It's okay. Okay. I'm gonna go withhold sex from your father. <sighs> ah, finally, possible nudity. Okay, <laughs> sit back. Yes. Enjoy nudeness. <sighs> that nude arm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh my, oh dear. Now, now I'm just embarrassed. Yeah. Oh, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you caught me doing this to you, Mike? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need any more water in the bathtub, honey? news tonight, a serious car accident leaves two young people critically injured and three dead. We break now for a report. Hey. An official statement, Mayor? Please, I'd rather not comment at this time. Is it true that doctors have informed you to disconnect all life support systems for your daughter? I think it's a personal matter. Ew, I instantly need counseling. Just an official comment, Mayor. You want an official comment? I proclaim it lick me day. The doctors have declared my daughter... Patient of the month. ...brain dead. We have accepted their recommendation to disconnect all life support systems. Everywhere. Okay, here it comes. Oh, oh I got something in my eye what? suddenly. Oh. Oh, come on, hurry up, bro. It's an underwear What? 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 Well, help me out here. You got to try it. Wow. Well, all right, I'm trying. Come on, get it out. Wow. Oh, damn it. Keep showing underwear, movie. I'll be right back. I got I to gotta get this out. Poor guy. <laughs> Man. 
Man, is there even a name for mom's little sickness here? A little affairism. I'll rinse out my pantry holes. Hey, anybody see the visine? I can't see a thing in here. So she's been using an accolade. Is there a slower mow available? Any kind of eyewash, anything? Gypsy, you gotta have eyewash, that big ass eye of yours. Hello! You know, if she turns around. I know, I know. If that happens, promise me you won't tell Crow. Oh, yeah, right, sure. Yeah. <laughs> and what's going on now, you guys? Don't tell it's fine. You, you got time. I'm oh, good. <laughs> she, she's turning around. Did you say she's turning around? No, no, no Crow. I said she's spurning a clown. Well, I like that, too. I mean, where's the visine? Oh, boy. How do you get a purple blood? Good night. Okay, wait. I, I got a big Sam's Club thing of Visine in the attic. I'll be right back. Ah. As you can see, Mayor McMillan is under a great deal of stress this evening. St. Joseph Chief of Staff, Dr. Richard Reiner, has informed the News 10 that with parents' permission, the life support systems for both Natalie McMillan and the other surviving passenger, Zach Taylor, will be disconnected at midnight. All this plus Andy Rooney. Would you would... Stay sorry, Natalie. You'll never die. Or a lot of dust bunnies under here. Daddy, get out of here! Get out of here! And now she has to put on her underwear in slow mo. Get your dad's gun! I'm instantly dressed. Okay, I'm all visined up. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Ah, oh, hell, a robe? What the hell is this? I saw a lot. I saw everything. Shut up, Servo. Shut up. Shut up. Stupid Servo. The insult taker. I have an offer for you, Natalie. 12 issues for $12. I've got an offer for you, too. Let him go. I'll let him go if you come with me. No. I'll go with him. Go ahead. Take a picture with him and let him go. Damn, the battery's dead. Why don't you try pulling the other trigger? That's the kind of personal service you don't get from other soul takers. Mm -hmm. There. The still pictures are moving faster than the actual movie. So a seven iron knocks him cold, but a gun does nothing. Mm -hmm. You can't kill a man that's already dead. Mm -hmm. Why don't you leave us alone? Because you belong with me. I belong with him. Don't be scared, Natalie. I got him. Ah. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> uh. I've done that on spring break dozens of times. I was going to give him a piggyback ride, but I slept. Zach, are you okay? Oh my God, thank God. I thought you were dead. Are you okay? Your mom is weird. I'm fine. Come on. Come on. But after all that, no bass. Mm -mm. None. That's your decision, then? That's your decision, Shane. To die with him? Um, they're gone. Greg Luganis in the role of a lifetime. Dr. Fletcher, Dr. Fletcher, please report to intensive care. So how dead's your kid? Zach was really looking forward to seeing Natalie again. Well, he saw her, didn't he? Grant. You don't think much of my boy, do you? I try not to think about him at all. Oh, Grant, please. I'm sorry. We're all upset over what's happened. Please excuse my husband. He has a tendency to say things he doesn't really mean. I like fudge. You don't mean that. Call for 
Dr. Watkins. I hate buses. Oh, do the buses run this late? Yes, sister, I checked. There'll be one in just a few minutes. Stop running or I'll hit you in the head with a ruler. The police station is in a fire! Hey, the police can't help us now. Come on. We need to get on this bus. It's supposed to take us to the hospital. Oh, my God. We've got to go back to my house. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Stop. What are you doing? My mom! He said something to my mom. No, no, no. Your mom is fine. She's at the hospital. What? And look, you wrote this crap. When I was at your house, I saw her on the news. She's... She's at the hospital. She's fine. But she was there. She hugged me. It wasn't your mother. That was that man. Hmm. How is that possible? I don't know, but look. They don't see us. You see that? They don't see us. Uh, is she you? That clerk didn't see us. You know, I'd rather follow the story of the nuns getting home. Hmm. I don't understand any of this. What's happened to us? Why don't they see us? All they know is that our bodies are at the hospital, and we're here. You listen, give me a break. So we're dead? Is that what you're saying? No, our bodies are being kept alive with machines at the hospital. My body's hooked up to a snowblower. So how do we get back to our bodies? I don't know. But let's get on this bus, and it'll take us to the hospital. We can find out when we get there. <laughs> Gee, your soul smells terrific. Oh, I broke this bus driver's jaw with a Bible once. Thank you. It's everyone with a dead daughter gets a cup of soup night here at the Dr. hospital. Elliot. Grant. Dr. Elliot, oh. Call on two. Yes, thank you. Apparently it's on me. Dr. Reiner left this for you. Oh, wow, I gotta go with the Packers over the Lions. Favre's really kicking butt lately. The Redskins are the Chargers for sure. I don't know what I'm going to do without Zach. Maybe I'll shave my beard. Ever since his mother died. I... Look, I'm sorry I killed her. Must you bring it up every time I see you? I'm sorry. You don't want to hear about my problems. It's OK, Mr. Taylor. We understand. I'm not saying we care, but we understand. Nuns just flip off the driver and run off the bus. Oh, hold on, my soul isn't wearing a sports bra. You know, most directors forget to give you the bus details. <laughs> bus taker. I'm no good with sick people. What am I even going to say to my body? Looks like a bus. It's all coming together. <laughs> Let's go to the cafeteria first, see if they got any tapioca left. Wait, how do we know what floor our bodies are on? We're just gonna have to check each one. Yeah, souls can press elevator buttons, but they can't be shot. Hmm. What? They said on the news that at 12 o'clock they're gonna cut the machines off. Why 12 midnight? No, oh, maybe there's tax reasons. Hey, Urkel. <laughs> Weird thing is, he's listening to Gregorian chants. You didn't know I could get jiggy with it, did you? Well, I guess Estevez can become a member of DeBarge at any moment. Man, he's the rich little of shapeshifters. You gotta give him that. I'm at Bradley. Now shut up. Where are you taking me? Administration and billing. Seventh floor. Oh, it's one of those high class elevators. Um, aren't you due on the set of Werewolf? So he comes from a taller building, then, mm -hmm. apparently. Can we tempt you with desserts? Packers! 
He said he had had to have a flashback to remember his best friend. Mm, oh, I love you, Buttons. Mm, love. You don't need to be frightened, Natalie. Mm. Don't you see? What's happened to you is extraordinary. It's very rare for a soul to be jarred from its human host. Soul will get jarred off the wild mouse sometimes. Huh. I wonder where that bus is, Mike. They're letting us down on the whole bus thing. Yeah. I hate this. It's so awkward in elevators. We're here. Where's here? The second level. My world. Where I'm more successful than Martin. All you have to do, Natalie, is say the word, and the door to my world will open to you. What do you mean, your world? Who are you? <laughs> An angel. An angel? I'm almost sure. I take care of souls. I can keep you safe. Like the others in the wreck? Now, uh, let's not fling mud like that. I want to go back. Say that back. I want to go back! Wow. In your world, only death awaits you. Take me away from here! Hmm? Very well. You big baby, I don't even care, baby. Then I'll show you. No, she thinks you're saying, Blah, You still looking for her, man? And you're Marconi. How many times do I have to tell you? Natalie McMillan is out of your league, man. <laughs> this door is ragging on me like my idiot friend used to. It, it, it's the blonde guy. Yeah. He's become a soul taker. Right. Show, right. Us. Right. Show us. Hurry up and do it. Come on. Father Dude. Still around. I thought for sure you'd be dead by now. Come in. Okay, if you could just bring your urine sample to the desk. What happened to you, man? I got a new job. <laughs> I didn't know I was applying for it. But I make pickups and deliveries. So the afterlife is just vague, menacing dopes from our own lives. That's the ultimate answer. Uh, don't worry, you're not on my list. Art Garfunkel. Funny gag condom. You still haven't figured it out, have you, man? We have. Can we go? Zach, Led Zeppelin was wrong, man. Shut up. There is no stairway to heaven. Zeppelin's never wrong, man. Even if there was, you, you couldn't buy your way in. Is Sabbath wrong too, man? The truth is, I don't even know if there is a heaven. And that's all part of it. Keep us in the dark. Like a bridge over. Yeah, gotta punch in. Excuse me. I don't even really know what to do here, man. Yeah, I had this big master class from God, but I was hammered the whole time. Let's see, you kind of take the some bitch here, look off kind of mystical, keep the arms straight, you know, thing. There we go. Nah, shoot, I got her last bowl of jello, too. What did you do to her? I toasted her ass. Nothing, man. She's right here. I gotta keep it warm in my pit. So, how's the babage in heaven? Bye. Hey, it's new clear blood. Hmm. What the? Oh, oh, it's a habit trail. I wanna thank you. Imelda Marcos is close by. Uh, honey, you know, it's 5-2. Why don't we just do it now? 
Call it an early night. Hey, wow, she's really improved, but it is midnight, sorry. Do you feel like I... On the papers ready? Because I'm ready to kill. Mom! Don't let them! By the way, I ran another EEG. Stop it! Oh, we can run EEGs all night if it's on your insurance. No. No. She's snuffleupagus. So, I'm not gonna make my tea time, huh? Thought for a moment. It's all right. Yeah. Don't let him do this. Good luck with this one, pal. Sheesh. No, Mom, I want to live. You can't go back, Natalie. Goodbye, Pee-Pee. Pee-Pee? She can't hear you or see you, and if you touched her, you would only frighten her. Here's an old door hinge. It's better this way. In the human dimension, people die. They leave you. With me, you get to be a ring. Stay with me. I'll never leave you. I mean, I'll go to the store to get groceries. But what about Zach? Zach is dead. That's what I said. Come to my world now, Natalie, while there's still time. Come with me. At this special low fare. Uh, hello? Kind of need an answer. drifting, our orbits decaying, and the mysterious craft still hovers nearby, dark and ominous. It did save our lives once, but why? They're toying with us. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Toying? Yes. What do you want, you demons? What do you want? What do you want? Who are you? Look, uh, behold. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, 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 oh, it's just Joel. Yeah, you're going to get hey, that. Joel! It's Joel! It's Joel! <laughs> Joel, oh, hey, Joel, Joel back, back, Joel, back, hey. Joel, back. Oh, it's good to see oh, you, man. thanks. Uh, Crow, your voice kind of sounds different. Wow, weird. Huh. Uh, oh, I get it. You change your bowling pin. Smart. Yeah. And uh, Tom, it's good to see your uh, hover skirt still operational. It's yep. just great to see you guys all bright and shining in proper working order. See you too, Joel. Say, how'd you get up here? Well, I don't want to go into too many details other than it cost me a ton to get up here. When I was down on Earth, I found that Dr. Forrester had sabotaged the satellite of love, so a lot of the major working components would self-destruct in 10 years. I knew there was something weird about that guy. Yeah. yeah. So I came up here to fix it for you. Well, Joel, uh, <laughs> hadn't you better get started then? Yeah. Oh, I mean, we've got some time. I mean, oh, uh, what have you guys been up to? Ah, uh, you know, same yeah. old, same old, and you? Right. Well, you know, after I crash landed on the Outback, I kicked around Australia for a little while, and then oh, I uh, wow. hooked up with the band Manor Astro Man doing pyrotechnics. Uh, finally made my way back to the Midwest, where I now manage the hot fish shop in Osseo. Cool. Hey, guys, all right, I'm set hey. to <laughs> oh, Hey, who do we got here? Mike, it's Joel. He's the guy who made us. Hey, He's going to fix our ship. Yeah, Yay. I know you. I'm wearing your tube socks. Oh. If, hey, did I hear you say you're managing a hot fish shop? Yeah, it's, it's pretty that's, neat. It's great. I mean, how, how do you even get that? Well, I just had a really good interview. You know, I'm looking for an overnight cook. Are you serious? Oh, oh man. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm stuck up here. I'm never going to get down. Forget it. Man. Oh, man. Come on. Take it easy. You no, know, things just... are going to get better for you. I mean, no, things change. Uh, you know, listen to me, you know? All right. Yeah. Well, hey, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Hey, you kids. Keep it down. Hey, hiya, Gypsy. Bite me. Oh, oh I better wow. get going on Gypsy. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Oh, okay, okay. Joe. Well, See you later. A lot. Yep. Bye, Joe. Bye bye. Wow. Joe's back. Yeah. <laughs> Think about it. You know, I mean, I'm stuck up here, and that guy gets to manage a hot fish shop. Hey, hey, don't compare yourself, Mike. It ain't healthy. Yeah. We'll be right back. Gets to bring out the dressing. Don't go there, man. Make the three beans salad. Yeah, you're, you're right. Hey, you're right. Uh, Good to see Joel. Hope he fixes the ship. How? How did this happen to you? The accident. Oh, that bites. You want to get baked? I tried to tell him over and over that I didn't mean to hurt anyone, but they didn't believe me. Uh, who would that be now? I guess it doesn't matter how it happened or whose fault it was. But if you kill someone, this is how you have to pay it back. It really blows. I need your help. Man, you owe me. What do you mean, I owe you? The accident. 
Dude. And I want to live. I want to get back into my body. You're crazy, man. You can't do that. How do you know? You just told me they keep you in the dark. Well, he gave us some stuff. I didn't really read it. And then I spilled the horsey sauce all over it. Dude. Man, they really gonna fry my... <laughs> and Natalie. Natalie also. Natalie? Chick Harsh is my buzz, dude. Are you sure she's worth it, Zach? Does she really love you? I love her. That's what matters. That's why I've been stalking her so much. I don't think they're gonna fry your for for doing a good deed. Eggs? They'll probably give you a promotion. Be able to work the counter, man. The oncoming elevator has its brights on. Take my hand. Who's your date, Ron? On the bug zapper floor. This is a bridge between the human dimension and the world of angels. <laughs> Connected to a hospital? You're an angel of death. Well, associate angel of death. It's my fate, Natalie. Just as it is yours. To cause people to die? Solve, Joe. Let's get busy. <laughs> we don't cause people to die, Natalie. We merely take their souls when it's time for them to go. Yeah, death causing is a whole other department. I was chosen to take your soul. Yeah, sure, I shuffled some papers. If I don't. No one will. Is that bad? Do you understand? Oh, and for technical reasons, your soul must be naked. Come with me, Natalie. All it takes is a kiss. <laughs> sure, but can your soul take chlorets? Oh no, Joe's improving this. A pact between souls must be sealed. I guess. But can't he just bend at the waist and hug you from arm's length? Natalie! Don't tongue the Reaper! Zach, you're alive! Natalie, run! You lied to me! Don't leave me, Natalie! Come on! You're boned, man. Come on, it's thoroughly past midnight by now. Elevators, too. The director does buses and elevators well. Yes. Yeah. This is the floor you're looking for. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thanks. Hey, remember what I told you? Rock on. Put it right on the heart. Right. Sorry what I said about Zap. Oh, you better bring a couple of these. You might need them. Can't be careful naming after me, man. <laughs> Do you really think this is gonna work? Are we gonna be able to get back into our bodies? <laughs> hey, man, I gotta go. St. Peter's gonna be dark. Standing scene, 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 overlong film. Film, film, fuck, 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 film. Overlong film, extending the scene. Overlong film. Oh my God. Prudential signs. Just do it, you dummy. I'd rather make out than live. Man, I really need to freshen my makeup. Good. Duh. Natalie? Uh, uh, Ritz and spit. Uh, God help me! There is no God, there's just dude. Ah, her soul got snagged on her bruise. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know what they're going through, though. You know, once I left my soul on the top of the car and drove off. And that's why I put strips of Velcro along the edges of my soul to hold it in place. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, I wish my shop teacher were here. He'd know what to do. What is he doing? Her soul's gonna be all threadbare and worn out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
And stay out, damn kids nosing around my souls. Learning to palm the soul is the tough part. Something screwed up, but I can't call my boss again. I'll get in trouble. A guy running through a hospital. That's new. Yeah. Do you feel a lower class breeze? Wheeling Captain Pike down the hall. <laughs> Those balloons cheer me up. Estevez is on his way to give his healing through humor workshop. No, don't go in there. You might find something interesting. Wow, this is terrific action here. Hmm? Now, these ants, they're all over the jujube you dropped, Mike. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Man. They're really fighting. Look at go. It does provide a stark contrast to the film. <laughs> go. It's the THX 1138 stairs. Ah. <laughs> You know, this has action and nostalgia because we've seen it before. Well, Maul, don't do that movie. Well, there is a seventh floor. It's Heaven's Boiler Room. Yes, behind the fluffy surface of Heaven hums a complex infrastructure. The drum machine is stuck on. <laughs> You know, David Byrne is right. Heaven is a place where nothing ever happens. Come on. You know, you really can see Akira Kurosawa's influence here. You know, what with the way there's a movie going on and stuff, yeah. and it's on film. It's something Hitchcock would have been proud of, his pet chimpanzee directing. <laughs> Hey, Zeppelin was right. There is a stairway to heaven. Sure, soul taking's hard, but it's better than making cold calls like he used to do. Alarm! Alarm! Schnell! Max Schnell! <laughs> I ain't gonna kiss you, Estevez. You can put my green crap in that ring, but no kissing. on top of the heaven building. <laughs> You're it. It's all over now. Oh, I wish that were true. I left the house this morning with three soul rings. Oh, his 32K cash memory brought up a little video. <laughs> it's letting the air out of a balloon on the way down. God needs to know when you're taking your vacation. It is over now. <laughs> Eight plugs pulled, two to go, not bad. Is he dead? No. I don't even disconnect the machines. I was just checking on him. The spot I left that sign on the floor. So your soul is subject to gravity? I have so many questions. Can souls get toe fungus? Can I still have butter if I'm a soul? And back in the hospital for more run. I can still take them. Okay, can souls put out their t-shirts? Does Retson work on souls? Help me. Man, my boxers are riding up my crack. Look, the clock doesn't figure it all. Stop showing the clock. You spent that nickel. Paula Cole, that's who he looks like. Yeah. It's 12.03. Lunch is getting cold. You abused your order. You violated the balance. You know the penalty for presumption. Huh? What the hell? Uh, hey, 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 now wait a minute. No, no, no. Huddle up in the middle here, movie. Come on. Oh, no. 
You know, I, I don't think this movie knows the penalty for presumption. <laughs> you gotta get to Summerfest, man. Are you gonna be grieving like this at the Grayson's dinner tomorrow? That kid's from a lower class. Cool. Yeah, I'm drunk, so what? Hmm. Okay, the first time the soul must have been tilted. It wasn't sitting in the rack just right. Check out the headband. He must have joined Loverboy. What do I pay you people for? Don't die. Drop it. Spit it out. No, no. Spit it. Don't die. Because if you die, it'd be like so bogus. I love your clownish hair and your pasty forehead. You can make it. I know you can make it. I know you can, because I don't know. Evan's tired of the crap, man. There is no appeal. If they die now, they're lost forever. Lost to whom, from, where, why, and good or bad. Come on, just hop in the ring. Come on. Oh, no, don't put me in there. It stinks. Oops. Um, there are a few medical procedures we could try. If you could back out of the way, please. <laughs> Remember the great flashbacks we used to have? <laughs> the movie's story arc. Come on. Thinking, Dude's gonna drive us to Taylor's Falls tomorrow. Hmm? Look at her go. She's running here, there, over there again. She's like a ferret. She's alive. Quit pulling my hair. Well, look, she's darting about like mad. Uh, so you're going to live? Well, I'm going to need your group number. Hey, it shrunk. Hmm? He's such a loser. Oh, shh. Well, sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. It's all right, Zach. We've been waiting for you. You're waiting for me? We want to thank you for saving Natalie's life. We owe you a great deal. Now, why the Kataro soundtrack? Thank you very much, sir. We'll leave you two alone now. All right. Thanks, Dad. Bye, sweetie. Bye. We'll see you back at the house. All right. OK. Mm. Bye, bye Stupid poor kid. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Surprise? A little bit. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. I don't have a wiener. Oh. But that's not the surprise. Ah, oh, I broke my leg. Can I look? Not yet, not yet, almost. The other side of the mountain of crap. Okay, now you can look. A plastic surgeon ready to fix your nose. <sighs> what do you think? Oh, Zach. Yeah, unfortunately, it's Christine. God. I worked overtime, so it'd be ready before you got out. Dude's gonna come by later and roll it. <laughs> it's beautiful. No, you're beautiful. Yep, she did write this. Come on. He's my gearhead. <laughs> He's got a solid soundtrack of everything. Hey, he bought khakis. If he could just learn to buy polo shirts and turn the collar up, he could run in her circle. I call it gas taker. So perfect. You know, I thought the car is Joe Estevez. I feel like we've been given a second chance. Yeah. I think. I'm still sorting it out. But what if he comes back? He'll buy more hair gel. Maybe we'll meet again in paradise. There is none. It's only a boiler room at the top of a hospital. Splash. And what do they do with that second chance? Start souping up cars and going to Summerfest. <laughs> Let's go. I parked in the emergency zone. Screw that stroke victim. So, poodle hair 
and rubber lips, drive off into the sunset, and it's sunshine and roses ever after, eh? Uh, you seem dubious. Yeah, Mike, I am dubious. I'm dubious. My guess is that on the way home, scrawny boy there leans over to rub his carnauba waxed lips on his little honey and ends up ditching that sweet ride of his. Crow, you with me on this? Oh, no doubt. Things don't go near as smoothly as Mike would like us to think. Wait, I didn't say no, things No, Mike's living in a fool's paradise. Dreamer. No happy endings for our heroes, though. Nope. After Teen Boy puts his ride in the ditch there, he needs extra money to pay the insurance costs and to buy a new disc sander and a couple of gallons of Bondo. So he takes a second job at Carl's Jr. Yep, yep, and about a week into his new job, he comes to pick her up in his busted car, wearing a big orange hat and smelling a frying medium, and she calls on the whole relationship immediately. Only it drags out painfully for about another month because she doesn't have the guts to tell the second-rate Matt Latanzi to take the train. Yep, yep, yep. And finally, she gives him the news through the drive-up intercom that she just wants to be friends. And when the whole restaurant is finally done laughing at the poor Claude, he walks off the job and drives straight to the municipal liquor store to pick up a quart of lemon-flavored gin and a six-pack of red grape malt duck. Uh, 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 yeah, hang on, you know, Mike, Mike might think that was the happy ending. <laughs> so you guys really think I'm a naive Pollyanna, don't you? Um, yes, we do. Hang on, there's more Mr. Rose-colored glasses. So he drinks his way through the whole paper bag, drives a good 75 yards, and crashes into a pole. Well, the car hangs on to the base of the light pole, so he can't get out of there. He thumbs a ride back to his house, but the police arrive about 45 minutes later, wake him up, and give him the breathalyzer. He blows a 1.3, so it's off to the Crowbar Motel for Mike's little pal. Well, of course, he calls his former girlfriend to come pick him up, but Mom answers the phone and hangs up on him. His one call spent, he stays the night at the place with the striped sunlight, courtesy of the county. Soon, he's straining, rubbing alcohol through pieces of burnt toast he found out behind Zelda's diner. <laughs> no, hang on, wait a minute, I think that's a touch bleak. Well, you know, maybe you're right, Mike. Maybe they have a wondrous, frilly wedding in the frou-frou land of bunnies where magical fairies blow kisses to the stars <laughs> and polka-dotted toadstools sing good ship lollipop to the tiny mice in their little feety pajamas. Okay, and there's nothing in between. It's yeah. either grain alcohol in back alleys or a happy world of rodents in feety pajamas. Yes. I mean, why is that so hard to accept? You know, <laughs> you guys need help. You really do. Jeez. Jeez. Wait, wh what's with Mike? Grain yeah, alcohol me, through toast. <laughs> So, uh, how'd it go, Joel? Uh, yeah, it went pretty good. I did have some trouble, though, with the digital switching module. It was all greasy. Yeah, Mike here tried to patch it with strips of bacon. Oh, well, uh, I've updated all the necessary systems. You shouldn't have any problems for the next 10 years or 20 million miles, whichever comes first. Uh, you know what? I did want to show you this fuel filter, though. You see all that gunk that is building up in there? Ew, yuck. Uh, that's got to affect performance. Yeah, it sure does. It's a good thing I happen along here. Now, if you'll just sign this, uh, I'll be on my way. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Sorry about that. I don't think about my fuel filter. No, that's filter. the thing. People yeah. don't think about Oh, you know what? Pearl's calling. Hang yeah, on. Yeah, you can pay me now. Pay me later. Yeah, Whatever. no, I hear you. Joel? Is that Joel Robinson? <gasps> Frank. Hey, Frank. Hey, look at that. It's Frank. <laughs> Frank, how are you, Frank? Pretty good. Uh, been soul stealing. In fact, you're on my list. I'm going to need your soul. You know, when, when, when you get a minute. Yeah, oh, uh, you better get going there, Joel. Hey, what about us? Can you take us with you? Uh, no, I don't really want to. Why? 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 Well, well, I'll tell you why, because the years I spent here on the satellite of love were the best damn years of my life, and I wouldn't want you mugs to miss a minute of it. Really? Yeah, really. It made a man out of me, and maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, it'll make a man out of you, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. it. Right. You get going, and I'll stay yeah. here, and I'll get busy being a man. Yeah. That's right. I right. knew there was something <laughs> I liked about you, Mike. <laughs> and you two bots, you just keep them flying. And remember Joel, all right? We'll all right, yeah. Joel. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Joel. Right. Right. There right. goes Joel Robinson. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Just hide yeah. yourself out. Right, right out there, yeah. 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 Wow. Wow, man. Think about it. A real man like that allowing me to find my own way. That's right. Hey, press the button like a man, Mike. Yeah, give it a try. Okay. Oh, yeah. Smooth for a man.
Oh, man, I'm gonna catch hell from my boss. I haven't brought back any souls yet. Oh, Frank, please, take my soul. I'm not going to be using it. Oh, no, I yeah. couldn't, really. Oh, well, hang on. Hey, brain guy. Yo. Oh, uh, Frank here is going to be stealing your soul. Oh, I'm sorry. You're barking up the wrong albino. I, I'm just a brain. 100% soul free. Sorry. <sighs> Would um, someone maybe like to... Uh, Steal uh, my soul? <laughs> really? Are you sure it's okay? Oh, this old soul, please do me the favor of stealing it. <laughs> wow, okay. Come on. Oh, yeah, there it goes. It's slipping out now. There. <laughs> You'll be top soul stealer in no time. I know. Let's play ring toss with your soul. I knew these two would get along. Thank <laughs> you.